History, culture and natural beauty perhaps best describe the essence of vacationing in Germany. With its many historic cities and quaint small towns, along with an abundance of forests and mountains, visitors are spoiled for choice when it comes to choosing unique places to visit in this beautiful part of Europe. Those wanting to sightsee or experience the arts should head to the larger metropolitan areas such as Munich, Frankfurt or Hamburg. For those looking for recreational activities, consider a visit to places such as the majestic Bavarian Alps, the Black Forest or the Rhine Valley. Lovely old cathedrals and grand palaces are everywhere and in the smaller towns and villages, some boasting still intact original medieval old towns called Altstadt, many centuries old traditions are still practiced, including traditional Christmas markets, festivals and fairs. At the cultural heart of Germany is the capital, Berlin. Home to many fine museums and galleries, this vibrant city makes for a great base from which to explore the many other delights the country has to offer. And for nature lovers, there's a whole world of possibilities in Germany's great outdoors. For ideas and recommendations to help plan your travels, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 greatest tourist attractions in Germany. And just wait till you see what's at number one that we're going to be showing in this video. Something you would never even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides. And make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. Let's cut to the chase. At 10, Zugspitze Massive, Bavaria. Part of the Wetterstein mountain range, the Zugspitze Massive straddles the frontier between Germany and Austria and is surrounded by steep valleys. The eastern summit at 2,962 meters is crowned by a gilded cross and can be reached by the Bayerische Zugspitzbahn, a cog railway or by cable car. Another great way to enjoy this area of outstanding natural beauty is aboard the Tiroler Zugspitzbahn, a railway that runs to the Zugspitz Cam station at 2,805 meters. From here, the journey can be continued via a cable car to Zugspitz Westgipfel station at 2,950 meters. Be sure to sample a meal at the excellent panoramic restaurant located here. A highlight of the journey is the chance to walk through an 800-meter-long tunnel, complete with viewing windows, to the Schneeferner House station at the top of the Bavarian Cog Railroad. From here, you can ascend the eastern summit with its viewing platforms. And thanks to the many ski resorts located nearby, Zugspitze is a wonderful German destination to visit this winter. At 9, Bamberg and the Bürgerstadt, Bavaria. Located in the valley of Regnitz, where the river divides into two arms, sits Bamberg. This old imperial city is the most important town in Upper Franconia and is one of the best preserved of Germany's many charming old towns. It's also one of the best to explore on foot. Your walking tour should begin in its old episcopal quarter, home to the 13th century cathedral and the old Benedictine Abbey of Michaelsburg. It's between the two river branches that you'll find spectacular Burgerstadt, a small borough of Bamberg that contains the Grüner Markt, an excellent pedestrian zone which is home to the 17th century Baroque church of St. Martin. To the north is the new town hall or Neues Rathaus, built in 1736. But perhaps the town's most important structure is the old town hall, built on top of the Uberer Brücke upper bridge. Next up, at 8, Munich's Marienplatz. Germany's third biggest city, Munich, or München in German, has plenty to offer the adventurous traveller. The capital city of the state of Bavaria can trace its roots all the way back to the 12th century when a monastery was established here and quickly grew into the region's most important place of trade and commerce. Central to this rise was Marienplatz, the large square where traders from across Bavaria would meet to conduct business and where locals would congregate to shop and watch medieval jousting tournaments. These days, this vast square still draws crowds of people, but for different reasons. No jousting, they're here for sightseeing or possibly to enjoy a visit to one of the square's trendy cafes and restaurants or to shop in its unique boutique stores. The points of interest for tourists are plentiful. Here you'll find both the new and old town halls, the Neues Rathaus and Altes Rathaus, where much of the city's history was written. Both are attractive and worth a visit. 
Other landmarks include the tall monument to the Virgin Mary, the Marian Saula, built in 1638, as well as the elegant Fischbrunnen, a 19th century fountain with its bronze figures. For a truly memorable experience, why not consider a visit in winter? If so, you'll be rewarded with the chance to see the Marienplatz come alive with a spectacular display of lights and ornaments during the annual Christmas market. Other winter festivals are held here too, including the ancient month-long Fasching Carnival. Held each January to February, locals and visitors alike partake in fun dances and events that have been held here for centuries. Visit Marienplatz at any time of year and you'll still have fun. From March through to October, you can witness the Neues Rathaus's famous Glockenspiel perform its merry dance, its mechanical figures thrilling viewers thrice daily in a performance that has been enjoyed since 1908. Next up, at 7, Berlin's Museum Island. Berlin's world-famous Museum Sinsel or Museum Island lies between the River Spree and Kupfergraben, a 400-metre-long canal off the river. This excellent attraction includes many of the city's oldest and most important museums. The heart of this pedestrian-friendly district is the Old Museum. Constructed in 1830, it was designed specifically to exhibit the royal treasures. Soon after, the land behind the museum was set aside for art and the knowledge of antiquity. Between 1843 and 1855, the new museum took shape and the National Gallery was added in 1876 along with the Bode Museum. Built in 1904 and home to collections of antiquities, another highlight of a walking tour of these spectacular points of interest is the Pergamon, with its recreated historic buildings from the Middle East. But be warned, there's so much to see among these amazing museums that you can't possibly cram it all into a single day. And now at 6, the Rhine Valley. The Rhine is not only Europe's most important waterway, it's also the most beautiful. With a total length of 1,320 kilometers, this magnificent river stretches from Switzerland through Germany all the way to the Netherlands. While there are many places in Germany to enjoy this majestic river, the lovely Upper Middle Rhine Valley section, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is probably the most popular spot for tourists to visit. Here, this often dramatic 65-kilometer stretch of river boasts more than 40 castles and some 60 picturesque medieval towns, all just waiting to be explored, either by river cruise or by car. Looking for a great place to begin your Rhine Valley adventure? The historic town of Bingen, where the river cuts through a deep gorge before entering the Bacharach Valley, is a good place to start. And now next up at 5, Minatur Wunderland and the historic port of Hamburg. In the heart of the historic port of Hamburg, the magnificent Minatur Wunderland, the world's largest model railway, is an attraction that appeals equally to young and old alike. Boasting more than 9.5 miles of model railway track, this massive scale model includes sections dedicated to the USA, England, Scandinavia, as well as Hamburg. It also incorporates around 1,300 trains, more than 50,000 microscopic lights, and in excess of 400,000 human figures. It's not unheard of for guests to spend many hours exploring this fascinating world, with its remarkably detailed miniature airports, complete with planes that actually take off, as well as crowded cities, quaint rural scenes and bustling harbours. For a memorable experience, book one of the behind-the-scenes tours, an especially fun thing to do at night. Speaking of harbours, be sure to explore the vast port of Hamburg while you're here. Covering 100 square kilometres, this huge tidal harbour is home to one of the world's largest cruise ship terminals and is known as the Gateway to Germany. To make the most of your visit, note that the harbour is best explored by tour boat. Afterwards, visit the harbourside promenade, a lovely pedestrian route and the warehouse district. This historic district is famous for its continuous lines of tall brick-built warehouses. And at four, the ultimate fairy tale castle, Schloss Nuschwanstein, Bavaria. Once upon a time, the quaint old town of Fussen, situated between the Emmergau and Algau Alps and a popular alpine resort and winter sports center, is a good base from which to explore nearby Nuschwanstein Castle. This spectacular old fortress is widely recognized as one of Europe's most famous and picturesque royal castles. 
King Ludwig II of Bavaria built this many-towered and battlement-covered fantasy fortress, famous as the inspiration for Walt Disney's iconic theme park castles from 1869 to 1886. A variety of tour options are offered, including guided tours of the sumptuous interior, taking in the throne room, the singer's hall and some of the country's most spectacular views. And they lived happily ever after. Next up at three, the Black Forest Baden-Württemberg. The beautiful Black Forest with its dark, densely wooded hills is one of the most visited upland regions in all of Europe. Situated in the southwestern corner of Germany and extending 160 kilometers from Pforzheim in the north to Waldshut on the High Rhine in the south, it's a hiker's heaven. On the west side, the Black Forest descends steeply to the Rhine, crossed by lush valleys, while on the east, it slopes more gently down to the upper Neckar and Danube valleys. Popular spots include Germany's oldest ski area at Tottenau, the magnificent spa facilities of Baden-Baden and the attractive resort of Bad Liebenzell. Other highlights include the spectacular Black Forest Railway. It's centered on Triberg with its famous falls and Triberg itself, home to the Black Forest Open Air Museum. The best way to catch them all? Grab a map of the Black Forest panoramic route, a 70-kilometer driving tour that takes in the very best views over the region, along with its top historic attractions, including stunning castles and numerous medieval towns and villages. Sounds great. At two, Cologne Cathedral, Kölner Dom. The towering Cologne Cathedral, or Kölner Dom, the Cathedral of St. Peter and St. Mary, is located on the banks of the Rhine and is undoubtedly Cologne's most impressive landmark. This masterpiece of high Gothic architecture is one of the largest cathedrals in Europe. Construction on this most ambitious building project of the Middle Ages started in 1248 and reportedly took over 600 years to complete. As imposing as its facade, the cathedral's magnificent interior covers an area of 6,166 square meters and boasts 56 huge pillars. Above the high altar is the reliquary of the Three Kings, a 12th century work of art in gold that was designed by Nicholas of Verdun to house the relics of the Three Kings brought here from Milan. Other highlights include the panoramic views of the South Towers, the 12th and 13th century stained glass in the Three Kings Chapel, and the treasury with its many precious objects, all of which survived largely intact after World War II. For some of the best vistas over the city and river, climb the 533 steps to the viewing platform in the South Tower. Yes, 533 steps. A small entrance fee is required, and certainly some very strong legs. And finally, at number one, Berlin's Brandenburg Gate. Modelled on the Acropolis in Athens and built for King Frederick William II in 1791, the monumental sandstone Brandenburg Gate in Berlin's Mitte district was the city's first neoclassical structure. It measures an impressive 26 meters in height, which includes the Quadriga, the spectacular four-horse chariot carrying the goddess of victory perched atop this spectacular building. Its six huge columns on each side of the structure form five impressive passages. Four were used by regular traffic, while the center was reserved for the royal carriages. Huge Doric columns also decorate the two buildings at each side of the gate, once used by toll collectors and guards. Undoubtedly Berlin's most iconic structure, it's hard to believe that the majestic structure you see today was severely damaged during World War II. It was also once part of the infamous Berlin Wall and, for a few decades, was symbolic of the division of Berlin into East and West. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Germany. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time!